In this final section, let's look at some ways we can help the suspension do its job. These include aerodynamics, brakes and differential. When travelling at high speeds, we take advantage of the air flowing over the top of the car to increase cornering grip. This is called aerodynamics. You'll also hear it referred to as aero or downforce. The goal is to use the airflow to push down on the vehicle, which is like adding weight to the tyres. And as you probably know, more weight means more grip. There are two factors that increase downforce. The first is the shape of the wing, including the angle of attack, and the second is speed. Increasing wing angle is the primary way we increase downforce. This does however increase the aerodynamic drag of the vehicle and reduce the top speed. Increases in vehicle speed also create more downforce and for this reason handling improvements will only be felt at higher speeds. Now that you have a good idea of what aero is and why we use it, let's talk about when to use it. Aero settings depend on the track. We would love to increase grip on short winding tracks, but if we can't get the car fast enough to benefit from the wing's effects, is the aero tuning worth it? Probably not for those tracks, with slow speed corners. Then we might think aero is more useful on longer tracks, but tracks with long straights benefit from reduced downforce to maximise top speed. So then where do we get the real benefit? You want to be sure to use aero on tracks that have one or more higher speed corners. If those longer sweeping corners leads onto a straight, then that's even better. Using aero on those higher speed corners will let you build up exit speed much better than a car with less aero. One last thing to keep in mind, you want to follow the same ideas we talked about in the last section, tune front and rear to create balance in the turn. If you notice the rear of the car slides out at the end of a higher speed corner, then try increasing rear downforce a bit while leaving the front alone. Feel free to experiment with different settings and tracks to get a feel for aero yourself. In the next video, we talk about brakes.